Good morning, this is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. South Dakota Attorney General Marty Jackley says city, state and federal law enforcement will be working together to stop sex trafficking during the Sturgis rally. Jackley, who grew up near Sturgis, says the rally is good for South Dakota, but there's a downside. He says law enforcement has a plan to catch more people involved in human trafficking, but he did not want to be specific about their plans. Meanwhile, the executive director of a shelter for sex trafficking survivors in central South Dakota says groups will be handing out information with a local phone number at hotels and campgrounds during the rally. So that if anybody is being um, trafficked, there's a local number that you can call now, not the national human trafficking hotline, because for some survivors um, that just wasn't enough for them, people um, Survivors need something local right away that they can get to. Lisa Heth says educating people about how to spot human trafficking is an important next step in stopping it in South Dakota. Three people are facing drug charges after being arrested in Roberts County last week. The sheriff's office says that around 1.30 a.m. on July 21st, Sisseton Wapiton Tribal Police told them that a car containing drugs was found at a rest area on I-29 in the northern part of the county. A deputy responded and found Justin Brown, who had multiple warrants. Authorities say Brown lied to the deputy about his name and resisted arrest. Officials say the car was searched and around nine grams of meth, fentanyl, marijuana, one other items were found. Kenneth Carter and Bailey Jensen were also inside. All three are facing possession charges. Brown is also charged with resisting arrest and impersonation. One person was taken to the hospital after an SUV ended up in Lake Marsh. The Hamlet County Sheriff's Office says it happened just before 9 o'clock last night. Officials say they received a call saying a vehicle had rolled over and was partially submerged in the water and that the driver couldn't get out. Authorities say the Haytai Fire Department arrived first and worked to extract the driver. The South Dakota Highway Patrol is investigating the crash. And this heat can be hard on roads. 13th Street in downtown Sioux Falls saw some buckling because of the hot weather. Crews have fixed the issue. Transportation officials say if you come across a buckled road, try not to drive over it if possible. Instead, slow down and go around it so it's safe to do so. Well, it's if it's safe to do so, will it get hot enough to do this again today, Scott? Well, very well could be. Uh, we are looking at numbers in the 90s and the 100s this afternoon. Uh, now for a heat advisory that covers central and eastern Kettleland. Now in the meantime, our forecast for today, 101 in Sioux Falls, 95 Aberdeen, 103 in Pier, 96 in Rapid City. The temperatures will cool for this coming weekend. I'll have more details on that coming up. Thank you, Scott. The Safe Sport Act was passed in 2017 after the sex scandal with the USAG. The act requires sports organizations to establish procedures that limit one-on-one -on -one interactions between an adult and amateur athlete. Safe Sport is a nonprofit that works to provide educational training and advocates for youth athletes. Cassidy Jennings has been playing soccer since she was four and says this kind of training is crucial for preventing assaults and misconduct. I think it's a lot more common than people realize. Um, it kind of, it seems like it's just these horror stories of these super rare situations, but um, clearly it happens in all communities. The training is required for any adult who comes in direct contact with a minor. A Del Rapids woman living with ALS has written a book. 44-year-old Laura Jean Pulsher communicates through a computer. It follows the movement of her eyes, which selects the words she wants to share. I'm blessed to have been helped with editing by my friend Sherry Lavisa and design by her friend Jen Pfeiffer. The Printer Corporate Graphics in Minnesota did a fantastic job with the printing. There is a book release event planned for Saturday, August 5th in Del Rapids. If you've been looking for a way to beat the heat, you may want to head to your local Dairy Queen today. It's Miracle Treat Day. At participating locations, at least $1 from every blizzard sold will be donated to local children's hospitals through Children's Miracle Network. And this includes Sanford Children's Hospital here in Sioux Falls. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at our weather with meteorologist Scott Munn. All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, we have this heat advisory for today. 
Goes in effect this afternoon, lasting into the early evening hours. That heat index over 100 at times. We are looking at future casts. We've had a couple of showers between Pier and Mobridge try to show up this morning. The trend is as those move to the northeast, they should weaken. And then later this afternoon and evening, we will follow western and southwestern South Dakota for a shower and thunderstorm chance. But as those move to the east, they also weaken and then the rest of central and eastern Kettleland will stay dry tonight. Late in the morning there's a shower and thunderstorm chance between Mobridge and Aberdeen that moves to the east. We'll eventually see this northeast wind to help bring in some cooler and drier air as we do go through the day on Friday, but it also develops some showers and thunderstorms uh, during the evening hours and those will move east and southeast as we get into the late evening and overnight for tomorrow. And there is that marginal risk for severe weather for about the southern half of the area for any storms that do develop. And for the first half of the weekend, that marginal risk is found across western South Dakota. So another hot day today. Temperatures in the 90s and the 100s for afternoon highs. 60s and 70s for overnight lows tonight and for tomorrow. You can expect uh, cooler temperatures as winds eventually become northeast. We'll have highs in the 80s and 90s. And you can always check details of the seven day forecast while you're here online. Have a great day.